Okay, boys and girls, um, I don't know if you got to see this part, but I was welding around here, had a little technology issue. So here we go. I put a little tongue, which is neat. I'm not going to put those giant uh, whiskers because I can paint those on. But the last but not least, I'm actually going to put a nose. Oh, yeah. And that'll open it up a little bit. There we go. Here we go. And then I'm also going to smooth out some of this area. Now, don't worry about these little tiny uh, pieces of clay that are popping off. They, when they dry, they really pop off. Okay, so when I want to, I can also add a little bit of texture if I wish. This is pretty cool. There you go. See that texture coming into play. And I could draw some teeth or paint them on after. Now I need the ears. Here's my two ears that I had made before. Okay, and now I'm going to smooth them out first. Here I go. Smooth, smooth, smooth. There we go. And this is a different kind of scoring. You got to kind of draw a line like this. See it? It's a cross, a little cross. And now where my ears go, I think I want them here because I also have to put two holes right here so I can hang mine afterwards. Here's a hole. Here's a hole. I don't know if you saw it. There you go. Bam. Bam. There you go. Now, remember, I'm checking to see where I want it and then I'm putting these lines in. Same kind of line, almost looks like an eyebrow. Now I'm going to put water in those. Make sure you put that water in, enough water. Put a little in in there, and now I'm going to press it. And when I push down, I'm pushing down to kind of smush it. You can see the little bubbles through maybe. See them? Little bubbles. There they are. So here I go. I'm going to smooth that and connect it. I'm going to use this to really connect it. And we'll do the same thing on the back. Now, this is important because if it's not connected thoroughly, you can't get a real thin piece of clay. It has to be about the size of, a, of an eighth of an inch, if not a quarter. There we go. There's the one. Do the same thing again. How do I want it? Maybe I think I want it here. So I'm going to make those lines. Clean off my stick. Make some more. Here I go. Yep. Take my water, voila, and right over here, connect. I'm going to press down as hard as I can without bending. Connect here. I'm connecting on the other side. Here we go. Now, I can either paint those ear shapes in or I can draw them in. And you can even add a personality. You can have them go upwards. You can have them bend. You know, you can kind of do something different. That's pretty cool. Alrighty. Now, I think I'm done. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the rest of it in um, with paint. And you can too. I can even put little tiny dots so I know where I'm going to put those awesome whiskers. Alrighty. Ta-da. Done. Now, I have to wait until it's totally dry. And then when it's totally dry, I'll be able to put it in the kiln and you'll get it back to paint with underglazing. Voila.